What's up guys, welcome to Visualization. Nestor Adrian Sen here again. Today I'm gonna show you how to unpivot and pivot columns in Power BI Desktop. So these are two critical skills to transform data before we start creating our visualizations in Power BI. So guys, are you ready? Let's do this. For today's tutorial, I have two different points here. The first one, we're going to learn about unpivoting and pivoting columns in Power BI. So these are two critical skills that we need to learn before we start creating any type of visualization in Power BI Desktop. And finally, guys, as always here, I have a really, really nice case where we're going to put everything into practice. All right. So let's jump into the first point now. I'm pivoting and pivoting columns in Power BI. So this is really important, my friends. If your tables are well designed, you can effectively use them in Power BI visuals. If that's not the case, you will need to perform transformations with the Power Query Editor. So what you guys are seeing here, this is basically a screenshot. This is the Power Query Editor window. So under Transform, we have two options, right? We have the unpivot columns option and we also have the pivot columns option. So these are the two features that I'm going to be using today. So what else do we have here? The unpivot transformation is a cornerstone technique in addressing badly designed tables. Between these two tools, if you have to pick one, we will definitely select unpivot columns. According to this description, it's one of the most important features that we have to start cleaning our data. All right, so now let's go to the next slide. Case, two questions here. The first question is to unpivot the product claim columns and create a visual that summarizes premium per product claim. So the second question that we have here, the second task is to pivot the previous table. The values column should be premium and then the aggregation function should be some. So if you guys are confused here now, don't worry, we're going to jump into Power BI Desktop and we're going to start playing with this data. Okay, let's do that. All right, so here we are in Power BI Desktop. And before we get started, let's take a look at the data real quick. Okay, right here we have a table called premium, right? And also if we click on here, data. So this is the table that we have, right? So we have claim year, and we also have the product claim, right? We have two, four, six, seven different types of products, right? And of course, we also have the premium here. The question that we have now is what is wrong with this table? So at first glance, this looks fine, but this is what's happening. It includes columns of the same type. See right here? So we have right here the product columns, right? This is basically the same type. And then also all of these values, right? All of them are premiums by products. So this is the indication that we need to make an adjustment or transformation in order for us to create outstanding visualizations in Power BI. Let's, let's do the transformation real quick. Let's go back to report here. And the next thing that we want to do here is the following home transform data. Let's open the power query window. So it's right here. So now, so real quick, because we are trying to unpivot the product claim columns, right? So what we need to do here is basically select all these columns. Let's do that real quick. So we can do that by holding down shift and then click on projector. So we select every single product claim. Here, basically, we have two different types of columns. So the column that we don't touch is called the anchor column because we are not going to unpivot that column, right? But the other columns, they are called unpivoted columns, right? Because we are using them to perform the transformation. So we already selected these, these columns. And now what we need to do is let's go to transform here and let's select the option called and pivot columns. So let's do that and let's see what happens. 
boom there you go my friends and then we can rename this if we want right this is going to be product claim right and this one right here this is going to be premium all right so let's hit enter there you go so now this looks better so that's the only change that we want to make and next we need to go back to home here and then click close and apply and let's see what happens perfect so now so what do we have now if we go back to data right here there you go see right there so we have a better design now so let's create a quick visual here and let's select this visualization called cluster bar chart and this is just for the example okay so let's select right here product claim because that was one of the questions right product claim by premium and for this particular case we haven't created any type of measure we want to use the implicit uh, measure here for premium okay there you go there you go you can also make a couple of changes if you want we can add right here labels and this is just optional okay so as you guys can see now it's quite straightforward to create a visualization all right so that's how it works guys now let's answer the second question the second question is to pivot this table so let's do that so what we're going to do next is the following let's hit home here again and then transform data and for the example what we're going to do here is let's duplicate this table okay right click duplicate so let's leave it as premium parenthesis number two all right so we want to make a transformation to this table so how do we do that so here what we're going to do is the opposite right so we have this table here this is an unpivot table so we need to pivot this table but we want to use this column called product claim so now let's select this column here let's go back to transform and now let's hit the option called pivot column so now use the names in column product claim to create new columns perfect so the values column here if you guys remember this should be premium and also the aggregate value function this should be sum so we are good to go there and let's hit okay and let's see what happens boom there it is my friends see so basically we are doing the opposite right this this is what we had at the beginning so i'm doing this just for educational purposes okay all right so that's what we need and now let's hit let's go home here and let's hit close and apply there you go so we have right here a new page and what we're gonna do here is let's try to create a visual here and you guys will realize that this is quite complicated to create a visual so now if we select any product right see right there so it doesn't work as you guys can see it's hard for us to create any type of visualization but what we can do here is to create a table for example so let's do that so claim year here and then let's select every single product claim so you can have the same information that we initially had right all right so as you guys can see uh, we can do this but this is not very practical right so between these two options between these two features and build columns is the one that is more helpful so what do you guys think do you find these two tools helpful please leave your comments or questions below and now let's go back to the presentation and see what else we have there okay all right guys that was it i hope you found this content helpful if so please give me a thumbs up share with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial